Houston police searching for a fast-moving jewelry thief who's already switched diamonds inside at least two jewelry stores with fakes. Investigators say they know this man is behind the diamond switching, but he's on the run tonight. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone live and just spoke with the owner of Houston Jewelry about what happened here. Jacob? Yeah, Dominique and Bill, not your average jewelry heist. Police are still looking for the man that they and Houston jewelers believe knows exactly what he's doing and has likely done this many times before. Jamal Brown isn't trying to hide his identity, but police say he is hiding a fake diamond in his left fist. And here's the switch. Did you see it? He distracts the saleswoman for a fraction of a second and ends up walking out with a $15,000 diamond in his pocket. This is only the second time in 25 years that this has happened. Anybody can get a hammer and a hoodie and go run into a store and smash and try to grab something. It takes a lot more skill and finesse and practice to try to attempt one of these types of, of criminal activities. Houston jewelry owner Rex so Sullivan says he noticed the fake immediately. You... Can you tell the difference? The rock on the right, a one carat diamond. On the left, a cheap imitation. Angry because the, the procedures were not followed. She will never make that mistake again, and um, I felt horrible about it. This is the second time that saleswoman, Judy, has come face to face with a bad guy. Last time, she shoved a gunman out of the store while he was opening fire. This time, Jamal Brown, who's been arrested before on felony drug and other charges, is still on the run, and police say they believe he's done this before, and he may do it again. Police say that he sold the stolen diamond to another jeweler, but they were able to track it down using the microscopic ID number inscribed into the edge of that diamond. But again, they're still looking for him, so if you know anything about this man or this case, please contact Houston Police immediately. We're live tonight. Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jacob.